Hi Fudgies and welcome to a special mystery subscriber Bunches of Lunches. That's right, you submitted your lunch ideas and then we let our mystery wheel pick the winners for today's video. Before we get started, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button, and don't forget to click the bell so that you don't miss out on any of our videos. And now it's time to spin the wheel for lunch number one. And the first winner is Isa. Isa is 13 and she's from Sweden. And for her lunch today, she's requested some Swedish foods. And that means I'm gonna start by making a nice hot lunch for her. The first thing that Isa requested for her lunch is Swedish meatballs. Now I'm gonna take a big shortcut and use a lot of help from the store for this lunch. That means I got these Swedish style meatballs from Ikea. Now you'll have to let me know in the comments down below if you're a fan of Ikea meatballs or not. I personally think that they're pretty good, I like them. And I especially like that they're quick and easy for lunchtime. To go along with these meatballs, I'm also gonna make the traditional sauce, which I also got from Ikea. And I have to say, I think that the English on this packaging is pretty funny. Now these meatballs are already fully cooked, so I'm just gonna add them to my baking sheet and pop them in the oven. And while those are heating up, I'm going to prepare some mashed potatoes. And I'm making these extra creamy and smooth. And then I'm also gonna prepare that creamy brown gravy. So now that I have all of these ready, I can go ahead and get them into the thermos. I'm gonna start with a layer of the creamy mashed potatoes. I'm gonna add a good amount of the meatballs, which smell delicious, by the way. I'm gonna add some of the gravy, and I'm gonna finish it off with a little pinch of parsley. And last but not least, to make this just like they do at Ikea, I also have the traditional lingonberry jelly. This is eaten with the meatballs, a sort of a sweet and savory combination, a lot like cranberry sauce on turkey, if you ask me. So now that we have that prepared, I'm gonna move on to the fruit and Isa's chosen slices of apple. Then for the vegetables, she chose some green peas. And I wasn't quite sure if she meant like regular peas or sugar snap peas. So I'm gonna go ahead and put both in today's lunch. Now to go along with this today, Isa also chose some potato chips. And I went ahead and chose the sour cream and onion flavor because I couldn't really find a traditional Swedish chip where I'm from. So I'm thinking that this is pretty close. While I was at Ikea, I also picked out this candy for my kids to try. I'm told it's very popular in Sweden and it's basically a chocolate coated toffee. So think about like the Heath bar, it kind of tastes like that. So I'm just gonna give my kids a little bit to try. And then the last couple things that Isa chose for her lunch is milk and cookies. And for the cookies, I went with these traditional Swedish ones, also from Ikea. Now these particular cookies are super cute because they have a little peekaboo window with a heart and they actually make them in a berry flavor or a chocolate flavor and I went with the berry flavor. And there you have it, there's Isa's lunch today. The winner for lunch number two is Lizzie. Lizzie is 20 years old and she is from Oklahoma. Now I have to say that this lunch definitely speaks to me because Lizzie chose chicken ramen and she's from Oklahoma. When I was a little girl, my grandmother, who was from Oklahoma, used to make this chicken ramen for me all the time. It was quick and it was easy for her to make and I loved it. The next item on Lizzie's lunch list is a fruit kebab. I love making fruit on a stick. And for her lunch, I'm using a combination of bananas, blueberries, and raspberries. And now I'm ready to build the rest of this lunch. Of course, we already have the ramen ready and the fruit on a stick. And the next thing that Lizzie chose was a combination of celery and cucumbers. And then to go along with that, she chose some chips. And I went ahead and went with the cheddar and sour cream ruffle variety. For her treat today, Lizzie chose some Oreos. And I went ahead and picked the golden Oreos. There are so many different flavors of Oreos now. Let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite. And then last but not least, we have the drink. And for her lunch, Lizzie chose chocolate milk. And of course, I picked the chocolate milk with the Incredibles on the outside. And then just for fun, I'm gonna throw in these training chopsticks to eat the ramen with. And there you have it, there's everything in Lizzie's lunch. 
For lunch number three, the winner is Georgina. Georgina is 11 years old and she is from Canada. Now the first thing that Georgina picked for her lunch is a pasta salad. And I love this idea. I don't think I've ever made pasta salad for my kids for lunch. This will be a fun new thing to try. For this pasta salad, I'm actually using some veggie pasta noodles. I'm also adding black olives, bell pepper, feta cheese, and I'm also gonna use some Italian dressing. I'm gonna start by cooking the pasta, and when it's almost cooled down, I'm gonna go ahead and add the peppers and the olives, and then it's salt and pepper time. Next, I'm gonna add in some creamy Italian dressing. This is the kind that you would put on salad. This is the type that you might put on a regular green salad, but I think it's really good in pasta salad too. And then once I have that all combined, I'm gonna sprinkle in some feta cheese. Now personally, I love feta cheese. I know Lily likes feta cheese, but my other kids, not so much. And now to build the rest of Georgina's lunch. I'm gonna go ahead and add the pasta salad. Next, I'm adding some slices of cucumber. And then for her fruit today, Georgina's picked out some peaches. I know my kids will be happy to see these peach cups. They love them. To go along with this today, Georgina's also picked out some goldfish crackers. Next, I'm adding a handful of blueberries and raspberries. And just for fun, I'm adding a cute little panda pick. For her special treat today, Georgina's picked a chocolate coconut bar. And for her drink, she chose a mixed berry punch. And there you have it. There's everything in Georgina's lunch. For our next lunch, the winner is Mindy. Mindy is 39 years old and she is from Ohio. Now the first thing that Mindy chose for her lunch is a sub sandwich. And I have to say, I almost never make sub sandwiches and I'm not quite sure why. So I'm excited to make one today. Now for this sub, instead of mayo, I'm gonna go ahead and add some hummus. I'm gonna put some on both sides, just like I would put mayonnaise. Have you guys ever tried this? It's actually really good. Next, I'm gonna add lots of stuff to this sub, as much as I can fit. Starting with some really good ham. This is an uncured black forest ham. So I'm gonna put that right in there. Next, I'm going to add some turkey, some cheddar cheese, some turkey pepperoni, some thinly sliced cucumber. I love cucumbers in sandwiches. It makes it really fresh and crunchy. I'm gonna to top that with some lettuce and a little bit of mustard. And there you have it. It almost looks like Subway. I think that looks really good. Now, because I want my kids to try this, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it in half. And then to keep our sandwich together in the lunch box, I'm gonna add a food pick. And this cute little one has a minion on it. And that should help the sandwich stay together and not flop open in the lunch box. The next thing on Mindy's lunch list is ants on a log. Now, it's actually been a long time since I've made this. And when I went to my pantry, I found out that I was out of raisins. So instead of using raisins, I went ahead and added some chocolate chips instead. And then for the fruit, she picked out a combination of grapes and apples. And she also described combining both to make a flower. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna take my apple slices, punch out a flower shape, and then using my food pick, I'm going to add half a grape right to the top. And there you have it. These are just like the ones that I used to make when I worked for Edible Arrangements. Have you guys ever seen those? It's like a big flower bouquet, but instead of flowers, it's fruit. They're really fun. For an added snack today, Mindy chose cheese and crackers. And since I already had my flower shape cutter out, I went ahead and cut the cheese into those shapes. And for the crackers, I added some Triscuits. For the treat today, she picked out some chocolate chip cookies, and then to drink some good old water because you have to stay hydrated, right? And there you have it, there's Mindy's lunch. For our next lunch, the winner is Elizabeth. Elizabeth is 12 years old and she's from Arizona. And for her lunch today, I'm actually gonna start by making dessert first. Now she's requested some Mississippi mud bars. Now there's actually lots of different recipes for these, but I'm keeping this super simple by using a brownie mix. I'm also using some marshmallows and I'm gonna top everything with some melted chocolate. 
So now I'm gonna make the brownies according to the directions on the box. These are still warm, but they're not so hot that they will melt all of the marshmallows. I'm gonna go ahead and spread those marshmallows all across the top. Next, I'm adding a handful of chopped pecans. And then lastly, a drizzle of melted chocolate. As the chocolate hardens, it's gonna kinda glue those marshmallows and those nuts to the top of the brownie. It's gonna be so good. So now I'm gonna set those aside to cool down and make the rest of the lunch. Next up, I'm making a sandwich. And Elizabeth requested a croissant with salami and cheese. But instead of using regular croissants, I actually found this interesting looking croissant loaf bread from Trader Joe's. This actually smells and tastes just like regular croissant bread. I'm gonna add a little bit of mayo to each piece followed by some salami. I really like the uncured salami. I'm gonna add some cheese and one more layer of salami. I'm gonna add a few dots of mustard and there you have it, a salami and cheese croissant sandwich. I'll go ahead and cut that up and add it to the lunchbox. For the fruit today, Elizabeth chose strawberries, an excellent choice, and for the vegetables, some baby carrots. I'm gonna go ahead and add some ranch in there. And then to go along with that, she also picked out some pretzels. And to drink, she requested some juice. And I have three different bottles here. I have Bell, I have Tinker Bell, and I have Branch, who's a fun troll. Which one do you think I should pick for her? Hmm, I'm gonna go with Branch, he's so fun. He's kinda grumpy, but we love him anyway. Oh yes, and we can't forget the treat, the Mississippi Mud Bars. And there you have it, there's everything in Elizabeth's lunch. See you next week! If you enjoyed this video today, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.